participants, it's a pleasure for me welcoming you to the second European AI Forum. Today, I have been asked to update you on the latest developments in Brussels on artificial intelligence. In February 2020, the European Commission published a white paper on artificial intelligence. We are expecting now the legislative proposal from the European Commission in spring next year. The European Parliament is currently contributing to this debate on a possible legislative framework with several reports and opinions. In the European Parliament's Industry Committee, I am the rapporteur for the opinion on the European Commission's white paper. In my view, the future regulation should raise the claim that Europe wants to be the technological leader and the most innovative region in the world by 2030. It should be our aim to stop the exodus of startups because they do not receive follow-up funding in Europe, but only elsewhere. Therefore, we need to think about smart forms of follow-up funding. We have to find an answer to the question how we can facilitate the investment of more private money into funding of new startups. AI deployment is key to European competitiveness in the digital era and a common European approach is needed to overcome internal market fragmentation. To avoid creating uncertainty about how these technologies can be used, stakeholders in research, industry politics and society need a clear and easily comprehensible legislative framework that regulates the use of AI where needed. Existing regulation in critical areas such as automotive, healthcare, finance, aviation, transport should be applied wherever possible. These regulations should be reviewed and, if necessary, updated to include recent technological advancements. New use cases that are not covered by existing regulations should be classified by their potential risk based on a clear and transparent framework. Only AI systems that bear high risk shall be topic for a potential regulation. Our principle should be that the regulation of AI has to be proportional to the risk it is aiming to reduce. Proportionality is key. Access to big data is key for development of AI. Therefore, we need to find a new ways how to regulate this access to big data while respecting fundamental rights. We also need to think about further developing data regulation beyond the concept of personal data. Just think about matching generated data as an industrial good. I am suggesting differentiating AI regulation into use cases. The Commission's proposal should distinguish high-risk AI use cases from non-high-risk use cases. Just think about AI medicine or AI deciding on granting credits to people. For non-high-risk use cases, the Commission should come up with a soft approach. But to be very clear on the wording soft approach, I'm not talking about the right empty space. We have existing regulation frameworks already in force, like on product safety, on consumer protection and standardization. The Commission should also distinguish goods and services. For goods with existing regulatory framework, this framework should be applied. For new AI technologies in these products, existing regulation should be reviewed and, if necessary, updated to include recent technological advancements. For services, transparency towards consumers that AI is being used is most important. In any case, we should avoid as much as possible creating new additional administrative burden for this new technology because we can handle it with existing tools. Thank you very much.